Hey everyone, today we're going to go over our friend Chubby Checker. Kind of a silly name, isn't it? Let's get started. Our friend Chubby Checker's original name is Ernest Evans, and he was born in Spring Valley, South Carolina, and grew up in South Philadelphia, where he lived with his parents and two brothers. When he was a small boy, his mother took him to see Sugar Child Robinson, a child piano prodigy, and also the famous country singer Ernest Tubb. A piano prodigy just means that they are really good at a very young age. Our friend Evans was so impressed that he vowed to someday enter show business and took his first step toward that goal by forming a street corner harmony group when he was only 11 years old. By the time he entered high school, he entertained classmates whenever he could. After school, Evans would sing and crack jokes at his jobs at the Fresh Farm Poultry and Produce Market. It was Evans' first boss at the Produce Market named Tony who gave him the nickname Chubby. The store owner of Fresh Farm Poultry named Henry was so impressed that he began showing off Evans to his customers through a loudspeaker. Henry and his friend arranged for young Chubby to do a private recording for Dick Clark. And Dick Clark was a famous um, TV show host at the time. He recorded the holiday tune Jingle Bells, where he did impressions of Elvis Presley, Fats Domino, and Jerry Lee Lewis. At this recording session, Evans got part of his stage name from Dick Clark's wife, who asked him what his name was. Well, he replied, my friends call me Chubby, as he had just completed a Fats Domino impression. She smiled and said, as in checker? That little play on words, Chubby obviously describing someone being a little bit on the heavier side, and checkers being like Fats Domino, which is, again, dominoes like a tabletop game, got an instant laugh and stuck. From then on, Ernest Evans would use the name Chubby Checker. Dick Clark sent the recorded tune Jingle Bells as a Christmas greeting to all of his friends and associates in the music business. Cameo Parkway Records liked it so much that they record, uh, signed a record deal with him, and that he signed a record deal with them, sorry, and they wrote a song called The Class for him that became Chubby's first hit in early 1959. He's dancing there in that photo. In June of 1959, our friend Chubby recorded The Twist. Bernie Lowe, which was the president of Cameo Parkway Records, was not impressed with Chubby's recording at first and felt it may be a B-side at best. On a record, there's an A-side and a B-side. An A-side just means that's the more popular side, and they think the uh, people who buy the record would listen to the A-side more than the B-side. So he's basically saying he doesn't think it's a number one hit type of comment. Now our friend Chubby disagreed and felt that the twist was something special. He worked hard on promoting the record by signing up for non-stop rounds of TV dates, interviews, and live performances. A year and two months later, in the summer of 1960, The Twist was a hit. The Twist was not only the number one song, but it introduced the concept or idea of dancing a part to the beat. <clears throat> Chubby Checker calls his dance dancing a part to the beat, which means it's just two people dancing separately from one another, but doing the same dance. Kind of like what they're doing in the photo. It's just hard to tell when you don't see them move. Over the next few years, many songs, including the twist, into its name came out like Peppermint Twist, Twist and Shout, and Twist in the Night Away. So that was a popular tune, as you can tell. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at some of the uh, facts about this tune before we listen to it. So the twist is going to be the song we listen to today. 
Now, this song was written and originally released in 1958 by a guy named Hank Ballard and the Midnighters as a B-side to Teardrops on Your Letter Record. Their version was a moderate hit, peaking at number 28 on the Billboard Hot 100. Chubby Checker's 1960 version of the song created the twist dance craze. His version became a hit, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in September of 1960, where it stayed for a week and set a record at the time as the only song to reach number one in two different hit chart runs when it came back up and popped and topped, sorry, the pop hit chart hit again for two weeks starting on January of 1962. And in 1988, the twist again became popular due to a new recording of the song by a group called the Fat Boys, <laughs> featuring Chubby Checker. This version reached number two in the UK and number one in Germany. And in 2014, Billboard magazine declared the song the biggest hit of the 1960s. Now we're going to take a listen to a live version of this tune, and I hope you enjoy. Dick Clark is the guy that is introducing our friend Chubby Checker. So enjoy. Here we go. the country all over the place. Hottest dance sensation in the last four years, a thing called the twist. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Chubby Checker. Sorry, there was a few little glitches in there. Um, could have been my internet, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for listening along with me and participating. And I will see you next time.